Yeah, I, there's no way that's going to keep up with a 30 second cycle at this rate. So, I don't, I don't know what's wrong though. You're outputting 200 per minute. A Mark III is 270. We've got a Mark III. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So this is a Mark I lift because it's connected to the floor hole. That explains it. There we go. That's <laughs> that's what I was expecting to see. Right? Okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to continue our heavy modular frames build here. So if you didn't catch the last episode, uh, we spent that episode putting all of the blueprint pieces together, all the machines. And now, uh, in this episode, we need to get them hooked up and fired up and make sure they're running. And um, if we have a little bit of time, maybe we'll start working on the building too, but I'm not anticipating that we will. A uh, couple things though before we get started. First of all, I did go along and I finished the bottom decking um, all the way around. So I put another road here, put like a little, you know, uh, end of the road thingamadoodle there uh, and did, did that down on that end too. And then I also railed up the refineries and the water pump right there. Um, it Additionally, I have run two more coal lines uh, on our little conveyor wall here uh, so I got a, a mark uh, a mark 2 line right there coming in and then I have the mark 3 line we're probably not going to tap into the mark 2 line we're going to just use the mark 3 line and I'm just going to save that mark 2 line for for something in the future I just just finished hooking it up right before I started recording that's why the coal's not all the way down to the end of it yet um, the other problem with that Mark II line in regards to our factory here is it's not at the right height to cleanly connect it to the machines either. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that when the time comes. Um, I had to do a little angle thing to get these around the corner because uh, the lifts are too high to, to make those. So we had to, we had to just go up at an angle there. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to do that in this game and it's not it, it still looks nice and clean so it's, it's not bad i try to avoid that when possible but sometimes it's just not possible okay uh, a couple things in regards to the comments uh, i had several of you actually tell me that i do indeed want to set up a permanent um circuit board production line because we're going to be need a lot of that later on i kind of figured that was the case but i do appreciate all of you guys confirming that so we will do that um also one of you told me in the comments that um, I'm going to probably need a lot more of those ad uh, adaptive controller thingies. Um, adaptive control module, is that what that thing's called? Uh, oh, unit. Adaptive control unit. So I, I guess when we get to the next phase, phase four of the space elevator, then it's going to want like a thousand or a whole shit ton of those. So fun. <laughs> Uh, that um, so that makes me wonder if I shouldn't maybe even set up then a permanent um, automated wiring thing because that's that's what's really well it's not the only thing that's holding us up but it's just taking a long time it's it's taking a long time just to do enough of these to make a hundred of those let alone you know a thousand so. It might behoove us to to set up a, a permanent line for that stuff too. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we have, you know, we can certainly do that if that's if that's what makes the most sense to do. It's just that, you know, right now I'm just using my stock, you know, to make those, which is fine for a hundred adaptive control units. But if we need to make a thousand or fifteen hundred, 
uh, that that's a little little bit much for for my current stock to <laughs> i mean we could do it over time but it doesn't seem practical so we may may need to just go ahead and bite the bullet and you know make a, per a permanent production line for that too uh, so we'll see we'll see how that goes um all right so today's order of business is to get all of our inputs connected uh, to start with and then you know kind of see where we are from there now as far as what's available over here i do have 40 more ore iron ore available on this line here um so that so there's a total of 130 being consumed at the moment um, I believe that I actually wrote this down in a spreadsheet but for those of you who are interested um, these four refineries in here uh, not refineries I'm sorry uh, foundries they they're all collectively using 120 iron okay so they're each using 30 each and then um, these machines over here these foundries are all using about 26.67 a pop okay and then I have one more input right here yeah this one here uh, that one's using 30 so that foundry right there is using 30 so uh, since that's a 270 line that means we still have 40 ore left on there the best machine for us to use for that is going to be um, I think this guy here because this guy needs yeah 35.4 so it's it's a little under 40 uh, but but it's that's gonna be the closest to you know getting that line tapped out as possible so we're gonna actually hook this one up first just for that reason I mean it doesn't really matter we got to hook them all up but we'll do this one first okay so everything that that machine needs is all vet mark one so I'm just gonna run two mark one lines out to here the other side is of course going to need coal and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh let's run the yeah let's run the iron into this yeah it doesn't matter i don't think it make it's going to make any difference uh yeah so we'll run the iron into this one so let's just kind of line our ourself up on it then we'll go directly north and we're going to uh, grab a splitter and we're just going to line up the green lines as best as we can I can't control because then it's going to try and line up on something else so I have to do this kind of the hard way that's looking pretty damn good there You know, one thing I guess we could try is if we just ran this down to here. Uh, yeah. Let's see, right? Yeah. If we ran this down. Why are you curved? Knock that shit off. That was weird. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, if we just ran that to there... And then reset this. Will it line up on that? Yeah, it does. I, well, I, I think it does. Does it? I think that, yeah, because when I hold control, it's moving just a little bit. So I think that's what we want. Okay, now we're going to put a lift on here. And we're going to raise it up till the green thingamadoodle hits that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy and run that over. Double check, make sure it's nice and straight, looking good in the neighborhood. Okay, now uh, for the coal, what we're going to do for this guy is we're going to get a lift and we're going to put it there and raise that all the way up to the top like so okay that's not going to work unless we also do this let's just temporarily run that there Then 
we should be able to put a splitter up here and have it. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's, yeah. I, I had to think about that for a second because most of this ore is coming in from the east, but these two lines are actually coming in from the west. So that should be perfectly lined up. Okay, let's get rid of this and this. And we'll also get rid of this lift here. And now we should be able to just put this lift down here and go like this with it. And there we go. Nice and straight, looking good. Now, we're going to do something kind of cool here. I, I, I've seen other uh, players do this on YouTube. Uh, so this isn't my unique idea. And I, I don't remember who it was, actually, that uh, that I saw do this either. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take these small frame pillars. And we're going to put... We're going to put one there, and we're going to put one here. Yeah, actually, I think I want it behind the... Yeah, like that. And then what we can do is we can take these, and we can encase the belts inside of them. And it just kind of, kind of looks neat. It's like the belts have like a little support frame that they're running across. Okay. And we'll do that all the way for everything that we run across the road here. And I think it'll look nice. Especially, you know, when we're driving down the road coming this way. We'll just have all these bridges going across here. Looks a little bit nicer than just the plain old conveyor belt itself. Fantastic. Okay, so we have connected our um, iron ore. We have 40 left on that belt. We're going to consume 35.4, so we'll we'll pretty much consider that belt tapped out for all intents and purposes. And we've also tapped into 35 of the 270 coal that we're going to need for this build. Uh, incidentally, I, I worked out the math. We're going to need a total of 202.47 coal for all of this stuff over here. Uh, but we have a, 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 a full 270 line there, so we should be fine. Let's go back here. And now we're going to hook you up. So you're going to... Basically, you're going to need iron and coal. And you're going to need iron and coal. Yep. Okay, so let's get these hooked up. Oh, man, that one's going to go right on the rack. That's going to suck. If we do the splitter from over here, it doesn't it doesn't control line up, but it sure does give us a line that we can damn near eyeball it. I mean, I don't think it's going to get much closer than that. I think that'll probably work. Ah, well, whatever. Can't do anything about it. That's the position it's got to go in because we don't want that thing to be crooked. Okay, bring this down to... Uh, oh, here, let's get these... Let's get these lines run out. This helps me line it up a little bit better from here. There we go. No. We're hooking into this one, aren't we? Wait a second. Did I do the coal? I did the iron on the left and the coal on the right. So I actually put that in the wrong place, didn't I? Or did I? No, I put that in the right place. Iron on the left, coal on the right. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Oh, except for... That's not right. I don't know what the hell I was looking at. 
Who knows why these things happen? Okay, that looks good. All right, now let's do the same thing here. Line up south to north. We'll put a temporary stacking conveyor and, and this one's going, all right, this one's going right down to the bottom because we're tapping into this bottom one now. We've tapped into it a little bit down there, but we still have plenty. Uh, we're only new, using a total We're using 190.43, but I don't remember if that's before or after what that machine's using. But either way, we should have enough. Okay, so let's get a splitter here. If we just quickly run a, uh, what did I just do? I upgraded that or downgraded that, didn't mean to. Okay, so just put this here. Wait. There. Okay. So this should control line up. It doesn't. How the hell doesn't that line up? Right. Okay. I don't know. Well, we'll just uh we'll just eyeball it then. So that's about as close to the middle, I think, as that's gonna get. Oh, that's why, because it's too, it's too high for it, I guess. Let's take our lift and point it this way and then bring it up. See, that one doesn't do the line for us, but we can still tell where it needs to go by, because of the one next to it. So we're good either way. Okay, that's looking good. Now let's do our little trick with the small pi uh, pillar frame. Uh, it, get on there. There you go. And yeah, I'm I'm intentionally clipping those into the lift because if we didn't then there's like no support for it at all and that looks stranger to me than just clipping it into the lift it kind of almost looks like it's designed that way excellent okay we have the same exact scenario here so we're going to do Coal on the left, iron on the right. All right, guys, I've got all of the foundries hooked up. And uh, that's what it looks like. I think that looks pretty cool. Again, a little, little neater than just, you know, conveyor belts themselves going across the road. Uh, I did have to do something a little jank here. Um, this input on that machine there, the splitter was right here, which was in the way of this one. So what I ended up doing is moving its splitter over a little bit and then just kind of curving the belt around to go in there so I could get this one um, lined up straight here. Otherwise, uh, no, had no other issues uh, getting this all hooked up. Now what we need to do is we need to run uh, lines into uh, lines of iron ore specifically into these refineries. Um, so let's see here. How do we want to do that? I think what we're going to do is manifold these in here. We need a total of, well, here, let's start with these. So we need, let's just say, you know, for the sake of, uh, simp simplicity, that's what I'm trying to think. Simplicity that each one of them needs 35, even though these need a little less. So that's basically 140 coal, which means we can run everything in that they need on a single Mark III line. Um, right, okay, so what we could do is we could potentially run 
those lines through here. Um, these little triangular thingamadoodles do pop out when these refineries are working. Um, so I, you know, if, if we do that, the belts neither either needs to be above them or below them. We might be able to get away from running it right along the ceiling. Let's see what that looks like. Um, okay, so I'm going to go here and go to a ceiling hanger. And we'll just put one there. And one here. Nah, those are, those are going to bang into the belt when they pop out. I know the game doesn't care, but you know, you know, you know me, I care. <laughs> so that means if we're going to do this, we're going to need to run them down below those thingies. I guess the other thing too is technically would interfere with these ladders, but these do have ladders on this side too. Not that we'll ever actually use them, but you know. And if anybody ever needed to get up here, they could do it from that way. So I think we're going to let that one slide. Even though that is a little jank too, I suppose. I mean, the other thing we could do is just run it along the side. But if we did that, I'd want to run it along this side. Because we're going to have more things going on over here. And then we could just feed it in through here. Yeah, maybe we'll do that instead. Just to avoid jank. Janky panky. Um, Alright, so that being the case... Um, we might run into another problem too now that I think about this. Okay, for, for this one, let's work back here first. All right, so can we get this, get on the pipe there. Can we get this up? See, the problem I think we're going to have here is it's, it's back to that one meter foundation problem. Oh, actually, maybe not. Hold on. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, never mind. We're good. Okay, so that, in that case, let's hook these up and bring them up to the ceiling. I guess I did test this earlier, too, so I should know it works, but I'm getting old and I don't remember shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. So what I think we're going to do here is we're going to... All right, let's... Yeah, let's run our, our coal in, in for... Or no, we're not doing coal, we're doing iron. Yeah, our iron. Um, And I think what we'll do is we'll... Let's grab the hanger again. We'll run it. We could just run it down the center here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just stay right on these on these seams. That'll make it easy. Okay, so yeah, we just want to kind of line ourselves up with that. Stay pointing to the north. There, temp that there temporarily so we can really make sure this is lined up nicely. Okay, we'll grab a lift. And this one I'm going to have to kind of guess because it's not giving me the line. Let's go with that. 
<clears throat> and we'll adjust if we need to. So this one is basically the second marker is just barely visible. Uh, no, we got to come this way. I think that's correct. Oh my goodness, look at that. We got it the first time. Yay us. Okay. That doesn't always happen. But it happened this time. Now let's take our thingies here. And run that back to there. And I think we'll run this in as far as the these ones are, just so everything's kind of even, Steven. And what we could even put another one of these up here, just to make it look like it's helping to support it. How's that? I like it. I like it, and you guys like it too, whether you admit it or not. I know you do. Just tell the truth. Okay, so now for here, I think we're going to keep life easier on ourselves, and we're just going to use splitters all the way down rather than trying to curve the end. In fact, I don't think the, the end would curve correctly anyways. All right, so let's run this here to there. And we should now be able to just... Take a splitter and you're not, <laughs> it's not using control. Okay, we're gonna have to eyeball, but we should still be able to get it nice and straight. So that looks pretty damn straight to me right there. All right, let's do the same thing now on this side. That's pretty straight. See right about there. And let's say right about there. Okay. Um Oh, okay, perfect. It, it, it did actually, in fact, split the line inside. Okay. Wasn't sure if it was going to do that, but it did. Okay, run you to there, you to there, you to there, and you to there. And we should see iron coming through on that side and on this side. Hey, we're golden. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Except for I did make one mistake, and that is that this needs to be Mark III. Glad I'm noticing that now instead of later and trying to figure out why the hell is everything running slow. That needs to be Mark III, and all of the lines need to be Mark III. Um, might have to take one of those back off to get that line upgraded. Uh-oh, you know what, though? Shit. The ones, oh, I can hit it. Never mind. Okay. Those actually don't need to be on the end Mark III, but we'll just make a Mark III anyways. Fortunately, I can get in between there. Otherwise, we would have had to probably do this whole damn thing all over again. The lines going to the machines can stay Mark I because none of these machines are exceeding 60 per minute. It's just the main bus that needs to be fast. Let's go fix this over here. Should be able to just pop one of these out of the middle here and then upgrade this line too and we're golden put an extra one on there accidentally okay we're good we are golden so these already these are all hooked up so they already got the water hooked up and the iron that takes care of our inputs uh no it doesn't we still got to do concrete that's right all right let's do that next so this is the concrete input here and this is the output. Uh, all right, so what we'll do for you
we could. We could run it along here. Or we could run it alongside this line. Uh, I think I want to run it next to this one. Just because this is the end of the building and I'd rather not have one all the way towards the end. Not that that matters either, but let's just kind of keep them together. So, now that we decided that... Right. No, we don't want them that close together. And we're going to actually want to run this one down even further anyway. Let's see. One, two. One, two. Trying to think what I think does this have to be Mark Two? I think it does because this is a Mark II belt. Here, let's just go double check. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-seven point five times four is. 37.5 times 4 is 150. That's Mark 3. Yeah, that's got to be Mark 3. Okay. Uh, then I didn't actually set this right up either in the blueprint. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did, because the, the, the input here needs to be Mark 3. But it, but it's going to split off to go up to those two, and then this one's going to be half of that, which a Mark II. It still needs to be a Mark II, though. Right. I did that correctly. Okay, good. Um, But everything leading up to here uh, does need to be Mark III. That is way too close. Um, I think it needs to go there. Yeah. And we could actually work our way back now because it'll know which direction it's supposed to go um why don't we do this go back to and that should go into there nice nice and clean oh we're in the ocean <laughs> let's get out of the ocean No, no, no. This is supposed to be Mark III. What am I doing? Hit the wrong button. That's what I did. Nice little save. It catapulted me up in the sky there. All right. Our limestone belt is right there. That's actually not going to line up correctly. We're going to have to do a little little bit of a downhill on that one, unfortunately. Can't do anything about it, though. It's just the way the position of the belt is. All right, so let's turn north. And what we're going to have to do here... Hmm... We're gonna probably have to go out at least that far. I'm not crazy about that being on the road. And you know what else I'm gonna to need to do now that I think about it? Is 
we need to temporarily put down another thingy here. For the same reason why I have those thingies down. To get this to line up correctly. Alright, let's go look north. And I'm going to pull it out to there. Actually, let's see if we can get away with going back one. Because then it'll at least be uh, lined up with this lift that's also sticking out. And what we can actually do is I could take this railing and move it out to, you know, to the edge of these guys. I mean, for that matter, we could even just slide the whole entire road over. Yeah, that's something I... <clears throat> Had I thought about that in advance, I would have pushed everything that way one more tile. But it's too late for that now. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm doing this all over again. So uh, we're just going to have to make it work. I mean, it's not like we're going to have a lot of traffic on this road anyways. It's almost more like a, a side street. Uh, okay, anyway, let's get back to this. So we'll put the splitter on the limestone up here, line it up as close to the middle as possible, except for that that's not the limestone, that's the coal, so I'll try that again. Which one is the limestone? It's that one there, okay. There. And that's pretty damn close to being in the middle, I think. Good. It'll let us do that. Okay. That doesn't look terrible. It'll, it'll work. We don't have a choice anyways. It's just the way it's going to be. Now, can I just kind of clip one? Yeah. We'll just clip that into there. As if we meant to do it that way. Okay. You know, another thing I could do is is just remove the stripes and because this is a side street, just have it be one tile. Uh, we're still going to have another tile, you know, over into the quote-unquote building's property or the building's lot maybe would be a better way to say that. So it's not like this is all we would have. I might do that later, but that, that's definitely something I'll do later. Not important right at the moment. Okay. Let's finish getting this part in here. And voila! Now all of our inputs are hooked up. Whew. Okay. Um, let's hook up the concrete next, just because that one's an easy one. But we do have to run it all the way up to the very front, to the encased beams production. We are outputting 12 and a half per minute, so a total of 50, so we can use Mark 1 for everything here. And it looks like that's what I had it set up to do as well. One thing, yeah, I am, I am planning on running this along the, the ceiling. Okay, so let's just run it out here until it stops. Pull it back to there. Big long run here. All the way to the front. Or damn near all the way to the front, anyway. And we're going into... Um... Let me go up there for a sec. Now, 
I think we're going to go into the the outer ones. So the left side on this and the right side on this, just because of the way that I ran this in the other input, which is the beams. Uh, when I did my test build. Don't remember exactly how or why I did that. I just remember that's the way that I did it. So we're going to keep this one all the way up on the ceiling. Okay, so let's grab this in... Put those there. And we're going to want to grab a splitter with the input um, pointing to the south. Okay, let's move that over to there. And that's lined up where I want it there. Now what we want to do is reset this lift. Looking good. Okay, we'll grab our line and I think we need to go to here. Oh, no, wait a second. Hold on. Sorry. I'm thinking on something different. This needs to go to here and then back to. All right. And then this comes into there, except for I'm out of iron plates. Let's go get some more. I think we've, I think we're done. We need 1,500 of these, so we've got 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, times 50 is 1,500. Finally, okay. So let's, uh, let's turn this off and turn this off. And here, I'll clean all that stuff up later. I don't want to mess with that right now. Right. Okay, just in case you guys missed, I think it was three episodes ago. Uh, we now have... We have a thousand circuit boards stored in here. And we have 1,500 um, automated wiring stored in here. Those are two of the four inputs that we need for our adaptive control units. So we need 10 circuit boards. We need 100 of these, so that's 1,000. And 15 of these, we need 100, so that's 1,500. We're making the heavy modular frames right now that's going to feed this, and, then we'll, and the computers we're going to make probably... Well, what I might do, now that I know that I'm going to need to make circuit boards, is I might make... Uh, a big circuit board production line and have half of it or so or a portion of it just you know go into storage for our use for building and then the other half feed the computer production line I have to work all that out though I haven't haven't even started thinking about that yet that's my tentative plan when the time comes we'll just throw those in there beautiful okay anyway let's get back on track with heavy modular frames that's our focus right at the moment There we go. Now these lifts here, I'm actually going to pull them down lower when the time comes. So that, that belt, even though it's in the way right at the moment, it won't be ultimately. Okay, that gets our concrete hooked up, so we're good to go there. Um, All right, now let's just start working our way uh, we'll work our way back, I guess, from the front. This isn't super complicated, it's just, you know, a lot to do. Um, let's put you... There, I think. If we try and put a lift... No, we want to move it out one. 
No point. We've got plenty of room here, so there's no point in crowding it. What about here? Yeah, that's got to come back one too. Everything here is all Mark 1. 10, 30, 10. Well, except for this one. This one has to actually be Mark 3, obviously. Um, and the output's just two per minute. That still blows my mind. I know I say that a lot, don't I? We're doing all of this shit for two per minute. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. Um, let's put this one in now. Not that... We're going to do anything with it for a bit, but we'll just get it there. Okay. So, I think we'll actually do the screws first. Uh, both the screws and the beams are coming off of this section. So, we, so two of the four inputs are, are all being made right here because they're a lot simpler. All right, so we're going to take that down. Um... Here, we might as well take that down, too, for the, for now. And let's just hook these up on the top for the moment. No. Go into the... There you go. And this one, we need to make a Mark three. And we'll put the... We'll take the screws into there. <clears throat> right, let's just put this back for now. Okay, so I gotta think about this for a minute. Um, let's do this. Let's start here. And I want to come to... He, uh, here. Here. Wait, what? Why isn't that straight? Um, I guess it has to do with how I position the manufacturer. This, this belt is not straight. No, that can't be. What the hell's going on here? Um, when we place this, it, I mean, it just places on, on the grid. I'm confused. But that, that belt is not straight or... Right. Okay. So if I look at it, it it's move. It's it's uh, go into that direction. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. What the fuck? All right. Here. Let's put. We put one there, one there, and one here. Okay, go back to and come to here. Go back to and come to here.
Okay, this belt is straight. This belt is straight. This belt is straight. Am, am, is this just some kind of an optical illusion? Here. I, I do notice... I did notice that that bracket was crooked a little bit. I don't know. I don't know why that's not straight. I really don't. I'm confused. I mean, okay, what if we did this? Go back to. That's why. Yep, that was it. Okay, there was just. But why though? I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. Must just. I don't know. I can't explain it. All I can do is make it straight, <laughs> which we did. Okay, let's forget about that and keep moving on. We got way too hung up on that. Now, the screws. I believe these are the screws because I put a sign here to remind myself that a Mark III belt is needed. Let's confirm that is indeed the case. Yes, this is outputting 200 screws, therefore we need a Mark III belt there. All right, so we'll put this back. And uh, is that one gonna line up perfectly? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, we don't need that sign there anymore. So we're just gonna come back to here, go back to and into there. Screws are hooked up. Beautiful. Okay, this should be the beam's output. Yeah, because those are inputs. Let's double check just to make absolutely sure. Uh, no, sorry, the pipe's output. Where are we? Wait, we're feeding pipes into here, right? Yes, pipes. The beams are the encased beams. Okay, 30 per minute, right. So both of these guys are making 15 pipes. 15 and 15. And they're merging together down below. Gotcha, okay. Just double checking. Double checking our measurements. All right, so you come out to... there and then go back to what did I do I think I lined that up on the wrong thing there we go no Yes, that's what we want. Looking good. Okay, so that hooks up the screws and the pipes. Um, this is our uh, frames, modular frames output. Again, we'll just double check it, make sure. Yep, five per minute, five per minute for a total of ten. And we want to run that into here. Okay, so let's go out to here. Go back to. And then straight into there. I did it again. Can't take me anywhere, man, I swear. Okay, that looks good, looks straight. It's a beautiful thing. And then our outputs for our encased beams. Oh, I never hooked those up. I 
Five per minute. Hmm. All right. Normally I would have hooked something like that at first, but obviously I didn't, so. Let's just put a couple of those down. Uh, we want a merger here. And we want the output to go that direction. All right, let's put that there. And I think that's right. Uh, before I do that, let me make sure that goes into there cleanly. Yes, it does. Looks good. Okay, we'll reattach this. mode let's get rid of these two we still got to do a little bit of work over here later so we'll leave the rest of that for now don't need those very good all right now we're gonna bring here let's work from here and nothing will have to cross this line here so we'll just Let's come, let's go to here and then one more in here. That might be exactly what we need to do. Except for, I fucked it up again. That needs to go there. There we go. Nice and straight. Nope. I needed to bring it over one... Uh, well, actually, maybe that is right. Is that right? Yeah. It's good. Okay. No. It's not good. Bring this back one more. Now let's look at it. That, I believe, is good. No touchies there? We're good. Okay. So that takes care of all of the main inputs into... The manufacturer. Screws and pipes are completely done. They're all set up. Let's go ahead now and... I guess it doesn't really matter which side we work on. Let's work on this side. Okay, so this is the output of the normal modular frames. No, this is the output of the reinforced plates that are going into here to make the normal modular frames. So what we need to do here is we're gonna need to bring screws. And this is the one place we're gonna have to use our Mark, a Mark IV belt because we're bringing a total of 100, uh, 280 screws, 140 per each machine. And it looks like I have set signs here to do the screws on the outside ones. And I'm pretty sure I dropped that down, which means then this one will be pretty limb and squeezy. Because we we'll basically just have to run out of this merger into these two guys. And you know what I think else I'm going to do, that being the case, is... Let's do this. Let's point that that direction and point those. Those don't need to be Mark 3s, do they? Hold on. 
No, no way. I think I just probably put him there. Yeah, we're only taking seven and a half per minute, so those can be marked ones. All right, we want Le Splitter right down the center here. With the input on this side. It's actually going to be closer to there than there, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. It's just kind of the way it worked out. All right, move that over to there. And we should be good. All right. Run a mark one into there. One mark one into there. One mark one into there. Not there. Getting, I'm getting in a hurry. And that hooks up our reinforced plates to our modular frames. It's a beautiful thing. Now, I believe we're going to be dropping the screws down. We're going to have to now because this belt's in the way, but that was the plan. Um, I don't remember how far down I was going to drop these. So let's go ahead and um, let's see. One, two, three, four. I remember doing this, I think, four. I don't remember why, but maybe it'll become clear in a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm just going to leave that open for the moment. So, these screws, uh, which is this section, are feeding both this and they're also feeding something else, too. You're outputting 230 screws. You're receiving... Uh, 280 screws. Right. So we're producing a total of 460. Um, and 280 is going there. Where? Okay, where are the other screws going? Are they going over here? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. To make the, the plates. So you need 100 and... Looks like 180 screws. I'm assuming I did that math, uh, math correctly, but let's just double check it. So... All right, so that's 280. And that's 180. So 280 and 180 is... 460. Each one of these are doing 230. Yep, I did it right. Okay. I don't trust me in math. I just don't... Uh, let's just leave that sign there for the minute. Okay, so... What we're going to do then is this is going to need mark three in, and this is going to need mark four. Right. Okay. So let's go back down here. And this is our screw output. I think. No, this is our screw output. Right, because I, I marked it for Mark Three belts. Right. Okay, so let's grab this. And we want to put a merger here with the output going that direction. And we want to move it over to, the, I think, there. That's going to have to go. All right, let's make this a Mark IV belt.
That's weird. Huh. That is really weird. I mean, you know that they designed it so that it just connects that way. <laughs> I think that's really bizarre. I don't know. Okay. Let's reattach this. Okay, now we're going to mark four over to... Your inputs are going to go down there. Okay, so... Why don't we go to... Right about here. I guess we could put the... We could put the splitter right in the smack dab center because I don't, I don't think we're running anything else up beyond this point. Everything up here is already connected. All right, so let's do this. We want to get a splitter with the input going that direction right on the seam here. Move it back that way one. No, I did not want to do that. Run that into there. Excellent. Okay, now we want to hook up a splitter here. With the output there on that side and right there. I just gotta move it back this way. I guess we didn't need to come down that far, but because we did, oh yeah, now I remember why I did this. Because what we want to do is, here, let's reattach this first. I remember exactly why I did this now. Uh, because what we want to do is we, we need to put a lift. A Mark IV lift like that to get that in there cleanly. I knew there was a reason for it. I just couldn't remember exactly what that reason was. Okay, go back to and straight into there. Good. And then we should be able to mark three belt into here with a nice clean 90. We can take that down now uh, because that needs 140, so it has to be a Mark III. All right, I think we did that right on, the, on this one. <laughs> well, I hope so. We'll find out, I guess. Very good. All right, now over to here, we need to, we have three inputs that we got to do here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring the screw ones down four increments so we can use the lift. Um, I 
either that or here let's go up there and look for a second what else is this taking in it's also taking in iron plates that are going to come straight across oh okay i already have the iron plates down low so we'll, we'll keep the screws up high then right gotcha okay um the other thing i want to look at is that's a mark two that's a mark three it's uh well they could actually all be mark ones i wonder why i used mark twos and threes for these i don't know right yeah because it, this is only taking in 30 that's only taking in 60. So all of these can be Mark 1s. Hmm. All right, let's bring our temporary flooring over. So uh, we'll just... Yeah, that's not going to be a straight connection no matter how we slice it. So I think we'll just use the right-hand side ones for the screws. And again, well, I'm sorry. I'm old and I'm actually tired too, so my brain's not working very well. We need a total of 180 screws. Right, okay. So we still need to stay Mark three until we get to at least the first drop-off. So let's come to actually let's not do that yet what we want to do is put this our first splitter down with the input there all right move it over that way yeah i think that's the correct distance Now we'll run our Mark three down to here, back two, and nicely into there. Reattach the lift. Good to go there. Back here, let's just remove these again because we're going to have to do that for all of them. Okay, now let's do splitters on the right-hand input. So that's right that direction. And that's right that direction. And we'll also do one over here. Oh, we're going to move that way over to there. And we're lined up this way. Yep. Okay, let's reattach both of these lifts. And we're good to go there. Okay, so this next belt can be a a mark two because now we're down to 120 and then the last one can be a mark one because we're down to 60. we should be good to go all right that gets the screws all hooked up <sighs> okay since we're right here let's go ahead and get the plates hooked up as well um so we are going to want to bring these lifts down one two three four yeah one two three 
four. One, two, uh, one, two, three. Why is that yellow? Uh, I don't know. That was weird. One, two, three, four. I must not have brought that one down for. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Wait, what? I think I'm connecting to the... One, two... One, two, three, four. There. I was counting the one too soon. That's what I was doing. Okay. Now, this is going to actually be interesting. How did I deal with this? Okay. Here's what I think we're going to do. Let's get splitters on these. Uh, and I think we'll go out that way and wrap around and come back this way. Since we have a lot of room out here, nothing else is going to be coming down that side anyway. Okay, let's move that out to there and move it over to there. that over to there. And this one, I think we want to come in this way. Let's reset all of the lifts now. Okay. Um... I want to look at something again. So we're moving a total of 90. Yeah, we're moving a total of 90 iron plate. That means we need to start with Mark 2, which is, and this is already Mark 2. So we need to go Mark 2 to there, and then these can be Mark 1s. Because we dropped 30 off there, now we're down to 60, and we drop another 30 off there, and we're down to 30. So that should be fine. Um, let's put this back together now because we don't need any of that down. Okay, so now um, all we should really need to do here is just bring this over to here. In fact, what would it look like? Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Um, is that the right spot? I think it is. Okay, go back two. What did I... Oh, I didn't go up high enough. Okay. Um, here, let's just do this then. Oh, I forgot. No, we don't need that one. <clears throat> okay, now we should be able to come off of here, go into there, 
come off of there and go into there. Looks good. All right, that hooks up our iron plates to our reinforced plates. Let's do a little bit of cleanup of some of this stuff here. So we're going to use G to filter that. So we're just hitting these guys and nothing else. I think we're also done over there. Um, oh, we are going to have to come back here and do these too. In fact, you need uh, you need reinforced beams, or not not reinforced beams, steel beams. Where am I making those? Am I making those over here? I don't remember. Let's go take a look. Yes. You Okay, yeah, so all of you three are making steel beams that have to be trucked all the way up to... Did I screw something up? You need 20 steel beams. So we need a total of 40. Right. So 13.333 times 3 is... It's like 13.99999 or something like that. Uh, whoops. 13.333 times 3 is... 39.99999999. Okay, so I was wrong. We do have to run these all the way up there. Um, you got your reinforced plates and your screws. I don't think anything else needs steel beams. I'm just double checking. You got your plates and your screws. You're making the plates. Yeah, these are getting their ingots from the refineries, which we'll do last. Let's cut a hole in the floor here. And we are going to have to run these three all the way up there. So it looks like that's actually not going to be a problem if we just keep it down. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So we want to put two mergers down here. Um, we should actually drop these down now, though. What if, actually... We could run straight through here and go up along the concrete line. Yeah, I like that idea. We're still gonna have to drop them down when we get up to here though, which we can do. But it keeps it cleaner all the way up there. Right, okay, that's what we'll do. That is what we will do. Let's get a merger down. Uh, with the output on that side. And move that to there. I think that's right.
and all of this stuff should be able to just be Mark 1. Because <clears throat> it's... Yeah, they're 13, 30, 30, 30, 3, 3. Which is going to come out to 40. So everything can be Mark 1. Okay, another merger here. With the output on that side. Let's reset these two lifts. Oh, those are okay, those are connected directly to the floor hole because of the tightness of that. So that looks correct. Yeah, default. Default usually means going out as opposed to coming in. Usually or always, I think. <laughs> okay, so those should be good. And we can put this back in place. And we should be done with all of this stuff. Grab that one too. All right. Now, we're going to run this... I actually want to run it straight down the middle of that tile. So, one, two. We'll come to here, and then we'll go back to and run this down this way. Okay, this is where we're going to have to drop down. So I think what we'll do is we'll stop there. Hmm. What if I should not have... Eh, that's okay. All right, so let's go down one. There. And this one, we need to come down one, two, three, four. Four. No, I'm doing it again, aren't I? One, two, three. Four, I think. This looks like we don't want to drop it down at all. Now that I look at that. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay. One, two, three, four. Did I just... Did I disconnect something else up here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Kind of sounded like I did. All right. We need a splitter on this guy. We're going to have to... Whoops. We're going to have to temporarily put that there. With the output... Yep, yeah, going that way. Uh, move that out to there and uh, move it over that way one. Okay, we're going to have to reset this again.
All right. Now we want to come to... There. And we want to go back to... Do that. And that. That looks clean. And that should hook up our beams. Man, this is a lot of work. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a long episode. I'm not going to I'm not going to divide it up into three parts. It's just going to be a longer one cuz I want to get it done. Well, get it get it up and running. The cosmetics and the building itself, that's that's going to be its own animal when the time comes. We'll have to do that in another episode. Okay, so the last thing we got to hook up is our foundries or our, sorry our refineries uh, to where they need to go so this one is the one that we need to add an extra five to coming off of here so I think what we'll do is let's come over here And we are sending out 65 per minute and 100, so basically 130 per minute. So we need Mark 3 on the main bus, Mark 2 here, Mark 3 from here to there. Right? Yeah. Okay. So let's make this a Mark 2 lift. We'll take it up to the ceiling. Make this one a mark. Also a mark two lift. And we need a splitter here. Uh, no, a merger, sorry. With the output going that direction. That looks lined up correctly. So this is Mark II coming out, because it's 65, so it's 5 over 60, and this will be Mark, <coughs> excuse me, Mark III coming in. Now I think the way that I'm going to do this is, is that perfectly lined up? No, it's not. If it was, I'd just sh Yeah, right. I've got five of these machines. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. I had to remember that for a second. Oh, man, it's too bad that wasn't lined up. You know what? We could make it lined up if we just scrunch the... Yeah, we could make that lined up if we scrunch this into the lift, and then we're going to have to put a splitter on here. We won't be able to do the 90, but we can do that. It'll probably make this whole thing a little easier if we do it that way. All right, so let's take our merger, and we want to scrunch it. We want to make sure it's lined up with that guy. And here we want to put now then a splitter down with the, yeah, just like that. Okay. We need to reset these guys. So these are Mark two lifts. Um, yeah, come out of there. All 
Oh, I got that splitter set wrong. Damn it, Jim. Uh, okay, let's do this one. Mark two. Here, what we can do with this is we can put a splitter underneath it. Remove that one, put a new one on top, and turn it like that. That wasn't actually too difficult to fix. Make sure this is a Mark II. Voila! Okay. Mark II line coming out of here. Mark III line going into here. Oh no! That'll work if we change this to a merger, right? Because I had originally planned on bringing it in over here. I mean, we still could do that, I guess. But if we just make that a merger... N no, that isn't going to work. We do have to come over here. Because if we make that a merger, it's not going to feed these two machines. Okay, never mind. Let's stick to the same, the original plan. However, I do want to... Uh, let me think about this for a minute. Okay. Let's bring this all the way around... do this. Now, if you guys remember, I mentioned yesterday that we got to send five of these ingots off of this machine because it's doing 58.33 instead of 53.33 over here. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to put a merger right up here. And, man, you're not going to let me line that right up on the seam, you bastard. Okay, if that's the case, then let's get one of these and move it over to here. I was hoping to just line it right up on the seam, but it's not going to let me do that. So we'll just do that. All right, let's just put that back a little ways as a marker. And so what we'll do is we'll, you know, this, this whole business is going to be feeding, um, something. What the hell is it going to be feeding? We're feeding the plates with that. We're feeding... Um... Having a brain fart! What is this feeding? Oh! I screwed up. I mean, we, we could fix it. We don't... I ran the iron ore into here. We don't need any of these. Because <laughs> these are taking ingots. Okay. That's why I was so damn confused. All of these take ingots in, which is what those two refineries are doing. Okay, so the iron portion of all of this needs to go away. I'm just going to, well, here, let's just get rid of all of it. It won't take that long. Okay, that cleans that up. Well, I'm such a noob. Can't take me anywhere. All right, this all has to go to, and we, I might end up turning those a different direction. 
Yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna do that because what we'll do is we'll drop them down. We're gonna have to drop them down because the coal's input's in the way. And I think we'll just do the same scenario where we've... We drop them down by four. What are those? Those are just mark ones. Okay. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, let's have these face inward as well. Like this. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, we'll just leave that uncovered for the moment. Okay, we need to put these down. Um, actually, here, yeah, let's do that. So this needs to be a merger with the output going that direction. Okay, moving out that one. Oh, not that far. Move it that way. And that's good. This also needs to be a merger. Move it over one that way. Right, and then we should be able to just go into that last one with a nice clean 90 degree. And we'll redo these guys again. Um, wait a minute, what the hell? No, these need to be splitters, not mergers. What am I thinking? Uh, yeah, it seems to be... S well, wait a minute, though. We're taking in... Yeah, splitters. Splitters, mergers, they're all the same thing. Not. Thank goodness we can do this, though, huh? Okay, so we want... Yeah, we want that, and we want that. Okay. That one connected, and that one connected. All right, our total output coming out of here is 5306, seven ish, so it needs to be marked too. And then we're going to divide that uh, that by three-ish. So, yeah, that's still... this. I'm just going to make that a Mark II just to be on the safe side. It definitely doesn't need to be Mark II by the time it gets to here. That part's set up. All right, now... 53, 58. These can all be Mark I lifts coming out of here. And I think we want to just go that way and that way. Is that going to work? No, we need to bring these up one notch. Reconnect this. Um, okay, so this one can be Mark 1. 
but this one needs to be marked too. Does that look right? It is not. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna have to do the same thing that we did over there where we're gonna have to squish. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to squish this one in and therefore we're gonna have to use a splitter on this one. Mark one, mark two. Now is it right? Yes, now it is right, finally. Okay, so what we got to do here now is pop a splitter on, and will it? No, nope, it won't control line up with that, but we can we can just eyeball it, and we're just sending five here out. That should theoretically just go straight in there without needing the bracket. Looks straight to me. And looks level. Whew. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's it for connecting all the all the inputs in the belts. We gotta do power, but that'll be. That's the easiest part of all this. Um, yeah. I mean, there's a very high probability that I screwed something up somewhere. <laughs> but until we discover that, I'm going to say we're finished with, with all this. Oh, man. All right. So now what we're going to do is... Um, We gotta get it wired up. That's what we gotta do. Okay. So, wiring. Yeah. Let's think about that. When we eventually get the, you know, the walls and stuff in place, I'll probably redo the wiring somewhat, you know, using connections coming off of the walls. The insulator for you is uh, it's on this side, right? Okay. So for now, just trying to decide if I want to run a big power line down this way. Like from over there down to here. Um, we also have that one there too. What we could maybe do If it'll reach, that's right about the center. Okay. Uh, come on, dude, get out there. You, you connected a second ago. All right, I'm just gonna have, have to go up myself. Uh, there you go. I don't think I have that connected right. All right, let's line back up on the power pole. I think I, it looks like I have it lined up on this seam here. Just remove those two things. Make this, I'm making this way too hard for myself. Let's see if we can get that main power line all the way down here. It will probably reach. Probably, maybe? Sorta? 
Oh, you know what, though? Is it going to intersect those lines? Oh, man. How do we deal with that? It's going to run right into these other lines, I think. Well, let's just do it and see what it looks like. Maybe we can make it work. I hope this can make it all the way down there. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, you're killing me, game. <laughs> it doesn't make it down there. Fuck. We can't, we can't run it to here because, you know, the building's here. I, um, what's in my head is that, you know, this is such a massive facility, and we might even, you know, add more to it later to this particular building, but I'd really kind of like its power coming off of a big power line and not, you know, not just daisy-chained off of what's already existing. That's that's why I kind of want to do this. Um, okay, let's go back down there for a minute. I want to look at something else. We don't have room for it here without moving all of this stuff, which, I mean, we could do. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. What I was thinking is taking, copying that and setting it down here and then just running a line from the, you know, from off of this insulator. Do we even have another connection on this one? Yeah, we do. We have one more. I'm surprised they didn't make those Mark II connectors. And if we did that, it would probably reach. Now, the other question is, is it going to run into our conveyor road? Oh, yeah, that's another thingy. No, I don't think so. I think it'll go over the top of this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. You know what? I think we have a hard drive waiting, or, or a recipe. We do. Ooh, look at this, you guys. Alternate silicon circuit board. We need, because we're going to make a circuit board thingy. That would require us to use quartz, though, but we have quartz to use. Quartz and copper. That will output 12 and a half per minute. Steel canister. This would be limestone and rubber for 45 per minute. All right, let me look this up. Wow, there's actually three alternate recipes for circuit boards. All right, so this one is 12 and a half per minute. That's the best one in terms of quantity uh, output. Yeah, that, that's the best one. Um, there's one that uses petroleum coke and rubber. Really? To make a circuit board? That's bizarre. That only does five per minute, though. And then there's one that uses plastic and cotarium that does 8.75 per minute. So this silicon circuit board is really good. I think we're going to take it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to take it. This one did 45 per minute. And it uses 10 limestone and 2 rubber, which is also weird. Rubber to make concrete. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I want this one for sure, regardless. I think we just got a good recipe there, folks. Let me look at something real quick. Yeah, that... That's not the best concrete recipe. There's one called wet concrete that uses a refinery that does 80 per minute. That one is really good. Um, do we do we even have that one? Maybe we do. Concrete. I don't. Okay. We want to be on the lookout for that wet concrete. That's that's super good. <laughs> I mean, 80 per minute compared to 15 per minute. Yeah. Uh, but no, that was that was good. 
I'm glad we got that circuit board recipe, um, considering that probably the very next production we're going to do is going to be circuit boards. So that was fortuitous. Okay. Um, let's just pick all this stuff up right now. I can reset it back down later. Um, and uh, we got to make sure we have enough room for all of this stuff. I might end up needing to move some of these too. That's extra cloth. That's empty. I'll reorganize all this stuff later. Okay. So let's pick this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab you. And we want to make sure you're pointing that direction. All right, and I'm going to line you up like so. I should put you right in the center of here. All right, let's grab our hub. Um, I think I had it going that way. You know what? Let's turn it this way. So our house is facing the street. Um, was it that far over, though? I guess it was. It's just that we have a little porch on this side. And we didn't on this side. So, yeah, I guess that's correct. And we could... We can slide it back this way a bit, too. Maybe to there. Yeah, I had the wrong side. I mean, it's a little bit subjective, but this is kind of the back side. So this is the side we should have had facing all along. <coughs> okay, anyway, I'll take care of these chests and all that crap later. That does not that's not important right now. We gotta get this episode over, man. This is gonna be the longest episode in the world. But we're gonna keep going until we get it done. Alright, let's connect into there. And now, we should be able to... So I got the wires yet, does. We should be able to make it out to that pad, I hope. And this is... Pretty sure that's straight. We'll, we'll check it once we get it set. Uh, I think that's where we want it. That looks straight to me. None of the wires are hitting the building. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, good. Yeah, I just wanted... Again, because this is such a large facility, I want it to have its own connection directly into... Um, you know, the main lines here, rather than daisy chain to all that other stuff. Let's just make things easier later on for troubleshooting power okay so let's go ahead and set up a a power pole here or actually no let's start with one on the corner here okay and then what we'll do is we'll bring this to here Again, when we when we build in the walls and the and do the actual building, I'll, I'll probably redo some of this stuff. But until that time, we're gonna go with this. Also, I don't want a, anything to start until everything's connected. So um, if we go to here, yeah, we can reach that one over there. Okay. This one here. Okay, I think what we'll do is run the power. Let's run the power down the sides. 
because when we get the building in, then it'll come off the walls anyways. So we'll come down from this direction. Um, okay, we'll probably go here. And I'm not going to worry about making it super neat. Because here again, we're going to redo it. Um, if we just put this here in the middle. Maybe that and that. Okay, let's go down this way. We might be able to hit all of these. If we go here. And then upgrade this to a Mark II. Oh. No. Wait a minute. I thought I changed that. I thought I just changed those to use Mark II just by default. I probably did, but then I didn't then I didn't save it because it was probably on one of my my tests or something. Okay, yeah, we're just going to use Mark II from now on, because why not, right? I mean, it's a little more expensive, but not enough to worry about. Okay, anything clipping? Nope, I think we're good. Okay, nice. Let's move down to here. And if we put this right here, we should be able to hook all of these up without issue. Let's just go to here. Oops, I want you. And your thingy is going to be down there. Don't think we can get to that without clipping, so we're going to have to go to here and then down to there. Okay, so now we have these machines also that need connections. Let's come straight through here. Um, let's say to there. Gotcha. Everything, oh no, we got to do some over here too. I was, gonna, I was about to say everything on the north side's hooked up. Not quite. Um, can we... That's a Mark 1, so let's upgrade that to a Mark 2. Uh, that one. Now it looks like everything on the north side is hooked up. Okay, let's do the south side. This needs to be upgraded. Come to there. Is that going to clip? Uh, it's... You know what? It's a damn insulator. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it, in fact... Do I see a little bit of daylight through there? Maybe just a the tiniest bit. No, it's touching. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. It's touching. But you know what? Again, we're going to redo the wiring once the walls are up. So 
I think we're going to leave that for now. I just want to get this up and running. Or if it bothers me too much, I'll, I'll fix it off camera. Can I get over to there without clipping through anything here? Looks that way. But... Here, we don't need to do that. Let's just bring this down here. In fact, it would probably be prettier if we did this. Alright, just about there. That's what we did back there too, right? Yeah. I think we can put this one right here and then take care of everybody. Oh, no. That should power everything on. Or, I mean, wire everything up. Now for the moment of truth. Here we go. Alright. The foundries are firing up. These guys won't fire up until the refineries start feeding them their ingots. <clears throat> Looks like our concrete machines are working. Oh, I see green lights. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, this re refinery is starting to fire up. waiting for it to get its water there. Alright, it's making ingots. Those lights are green. You're just waiting for your ingots those are later later on in the manifold so it'll take them a little bit longer to get their stuff but that's normal all right good so that foundry got its first little bit of ingots but as usual you know there there'll be some stopping and starting at first until Everything, um, you know, gets caught up and gets to 100%. So you already got your pipe and you're starting to get your screws. That's good. Doing 200 screws per minute. Um, I did make this a, a Mark Three, right? I did. Okay. And whoa, that's the second time that happened to me. Right during a save, and then it launches you. That's a Mark Three as well. Okay. Those, seems to me like those screws should be coming in faster than that. Okay, something might be off here. Why 
want to make sure that... <clears throat> okay, so it just barely got its beam before it started. So that part's good. But we sh that belt should be, like, cranking with screws. So something's funky here. That is a Mark III lift. Hmm. Yeah, I, there's no way that's going to keep up with a 30-second cycle at this rate, so I don't, I don't know what's wrong, though. You're outputting 200 per minute. A Mark III is 270. We've got a Mark III. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So this is a Mark I lift because it's connected to the floor hole. That explains it. There we go. That's <laughs> that's what I was expecting to see, right? Okay. It helps if you hook the right stuff up. Just saying. Just saying. That's more like it. Okay. All right. How we doing? Oh, uh, we're getting our first batch of modular frames in. We got plenty of pipes. Now we have plenty of screws. So we're just waiting for the encased industrial beams. Have you guys fired up yet? You're just about ready to. There you go. Okay, so it's got its first little batch there. You're still waiting because you're on the far end of the manifold. There you go. You got your first guy. Okay. We're almost ready to make our very first heavy modular frame, ladies and gentlemen. Just got to wait for those guys. Okay. For the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is... I guess we should... I mean, ultimately, I'm going to probably hook these into the storage shed. But... Um, do I have room? I do have... I do have two bins. Um, we have to get it into, merge it into this line here. You know what? I'm tired. I need to go to bed and I got to go to work tomorrow. So I think for now, I'm just going to dump these into a storage bin. Um, or what we could even do is we could even start just feeding them into the Manufacturer, but no, I don't even want to fuck with that right now. <laughs> I'm really tired. So let's just put a storage bin down for now to start collecting these. I mean, not that it's going to happen at a really fast rate anyway. It's ridiculously slow. Reset that a little closer. Hey, look at that! It started! Our first heavy modular frame. Oh my goodness, what a bunch of work <laughs> it took to do this. <coughs> it's going to take a little while for, for this to catch up. Everything else, though, is, is already um, ahead of the game. But this one will not be for a little bit. But I'll keep an eye on it because see, now it's idling the machine. But that should catch up. If it doesn't, that means I got a problem somewhere and I'll have to troubleshoot it. But at least we know. At least we know that things are working. Why is this yellow? Was it just getting behind in some stuff? Yeah, probably. It's it's too soon for me to say why is this yellow. <laughs> we need to let this run for a little bit and let everything, you know, kind of get up to speed. So what I'll do when I when I tested this. Uh, you know, in my test save, uh, I was having no problems with the encased industrial beams after I let it run for a while, which is exactly what is to be expected. So I'll keep an eye on it. And, you know, if after a while um, I notice that this is not able to keep up, 
you know, then I'll, I'll troubleshoot it at that point. But we just need to give the whole thing a little bit of time to, to get caught up. That's really what it boils down to. Because basically we want, we want this left hand number, the one that currently says two, we want that to be up to 10 before the cycle finishes. Because if it isn't, then it idles out while it waits for it to catch up. But again, if that if that doesn't happen after, you know, I don't know, 30, 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes of this running, um, you know, then I'll troubleshoot it and we'll figure it out. But the fact that it's just even working at all is pretty, I'm pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> this was a lot of work, you guys, and a lot of room for error, you know? And I did make some mistakes too, but it's working. Yay. Yay us. That's awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. <coughs> um, next episode, I uh, don't know what we'll do. We, we got to get we got to get this building fixed up. Well, we got to make the building, actually. We got to create it. Um, I've got some, I've got some <coughs> very general ideas for that, but I'm not exactly sure, you know, what it's going to look like in the end. I'll do a little bit of testing. Uh, but anyway, we got to work on that, and <clears throat> we got to get electronics going. We got to get computers going. So those are kind of our three priorities. So get this building done, get electronics going, get computers going. Um, I might, I could put electronics and computers in this building. I might not do that though for a couple of reasons. One, this this is still ultimately steel production, and um, I I'd, <clears throat> I'd kind of like to have electronic stuff in its own factory just because I would, not because I have to. And also, there is that possibility sometime in the future, if I really want to punish myself, that we might add a second floor uh, and basically double up on this. Um, so I want to I want to keep it open for, for that possibility. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right, I need to go to bed. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.